Hi folks, how are you all doing today? So today we're going to discuss about um, how to draw on uh, canvas. Okay, so we're going to create a small app for this, right? Let's um, quickly check how to create the app and how to design this app, right? So I'm going to just, um, you know, remind you all that if you have not been watching my previous videos yet, please do go back to my channel and uh, watch all of them okay there are multiple playlists which we have been creating and which we've been doing right so please do watch all of them in a sequence so that you have a better idea of what what exactly you're learning about and what are we creating in the series and all right so we've started off with the app lab series and we have ended it somewhere at web development now right i mean we've not ended but uh, they will all still continue but yeah for giving a break uh, to the web development part uh, we're just kept getting back to our app development again once uh, and we're just trying upon how to draw, creating a canvas and how to draw on the canvas and all, right? Let's check it out, right? So I'm just quickly starting off with this uh, drawing on a canvas thing, right? So okay, so let's save it and let's start designing this. On design, now uh, we'll just make this uh, a very simple design, basically, okay? So I'm just writing 60. Uh, let's just write this as a clear button, okay, to clear the canvas basically. Duplicate it uh, three times. Sorry. Right. So I'm just gonna place it here. I'm just gonna place it here. I'm just gonna place it here. You can adjust them properly okay so this button is going to be a um, rectangle button okay i think rect is going to be enough this is fine rect this is going to be um triangle triangle button okay and this is going to be circle button circle right now under this i'm just going to place a canvas with width 320 as we know the width of the screen height 400 okay because we have these buttons right i don't want the buttons to be overlapping so that's it okay exposition should be zero this, this is fine, right? Let's click on code and start off with the code, right? Now, first thing is whenever your clear button, which is button one is clicked, right? So we just have to clear the canvas. So let's go to canvas and let's clear canvas, right? Okay. Then again, UI controls. So we'll just click on this. We'll set the active canvas first. Active canvas is canvas one always. So I'm just setting it on event. It's a rectangle button, right? So when button two click, we have to draw a rectangle on the canvas. Okay. So let's click on canvas. Let's take this rect, right? So we can actually give random values here, right? X position and Y position can be a random number. So I'm going to math. Let's get this random number, right? So I'm just placing this random number over here and over here, okay? So random number 1, comma 10 is not the range we want to use, correct? Because um, random number will just pick a random number from any given range, okay? So the range would be from like uh, let's suppose we are giving a 40 width rectang uh, rectangle we are creating okay with uh, width as 40 and height as 20 let's suppose okay that means um, on the left you should have 20 pixels like if your canvas is going to start it in the middle then uh, in the middle i mean to say that let me just draw it for you okay so if you are starting off from here right so this is how your rectangle gonna is gonna get created uh, when you have uh, when you are starting the thing in the middle, right? So from the middle, that means here the point is, okay? 
the point which you are giving the x and y values which you are providing will be in the middle of the rectangle then what will happen 20 pixels should go outside the screen if uh, the range is given as uh, 0 to 320 okay that's why what we are doing we are, we are just not giving this 20 okay so we'll start off with 20 right so 20 to 320 right so then what happens the other 20 pixels which are which we are going outside the screen when you wrote 0 that should not happen over here right so from 30 to 300 let's right so that the last 20 pixels is also not going out okay and similarly here also so you will write um, 70 okay because i just want to pick this yeah 70 is going to be fine 72 4 30 okay because 430 is going to be somewhere over here i think uh, there are still 20 pixels in the bottom for it to manage okay so the rectangle width is going to be 40 right and lastly height is going to be 20 okay let's click on run and check this out if this is working or not you can see it is creating a rectangle and how many ever times i click on it it just creates a random rectangle right you can also see that it is not going outside the screen the rectangle is not really going outside the screen when i say clear it clears it off okay so this is how it works right now um this this design was very simple we just had a canvas and we are just creating four buttons with uh, rectangle triangle circle and clear right so now we have completed the code for on event rectangle button click and on event clear button click right so when clear button is clicked it is just clearing the canvas whenever your rectangle button is clicked it is just creating a rectangle right but it's all up to you now you're getting black rectangles right but yes you can change the color set fill color okay so you can set it to yellow or any other possible color right so let's suppose i would just set it to blue you can do this okay uh, let's check this out you are getting a blue colored rectangle now okay you can see here it is going outside the screen in the bottom so let's not write 430 right so let's write 410 instead okay so just reset and run again now nothing should go outside the screen the, this is good this is perfect okay clear is clearing it all off right then the next thing again for the triangle so on event id shall be button 3 click so let's go to canvas let's just get this set fill color if you want to give stroke color right you can absolutely do that okay so just give it here blue and red combination should be good so i'm just uh, leaving it off like that set fill color yellow and set uh, stroke color red i think this is also gonna be fine okay then uh, this is a triangle button right we do not have a triangle uh, here okay then um, let's not make a triangle right so yes of course uh, to make to create a triangle we can actually write a function for it right so we can write a function or uh, i hope let's try writing a function itself right why we already wrote triangle and we want to create a triangle now right so let's create a function here so saying this my function I'm just placing it under this. I'm just writing try as the function name. Okay. So let's write try. Now, to create a triangle, uh, what do we need? Right. So, first thing, randomly we'll pick some number. Okay. So, we'll draw three lines. Right. So, line. let's go to math we need to get x value and y value right so i'm just uh, giving random numbers here x and y x and y will be randomly taken okay so let's place it here now uh, i'll just give the same range which we are using over here so this is for the y value the last one is the uh, is for the y value so we're just writing 70 and 410 right so let's write the same things 
uh okay this is going to be for the line right yeah any 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 position it will pick from these numbers it cannot go outside the range basically okay so 20 to 300 let's check out if this works if this does not work then uh, we can do some other way 20 to 300 okay so i'm just drawing a line first after drawing a line it has to turn and then try drawing another line right or maybe we can do something like this also we can just draw the image right that is also fine so i'm just placing this here for some time let's take this draw image url okay this is the um, code logo so okay uh, here I thought we could use the we could choose the icons okay let's not um, bother about this much let's just place this line itself okay then go to design just click on triangle button let's make it line button this is also fine right so we'll figure out how to draw a triangle some other day here right then uh, circle okay first let's check this out yeah it's drawing a small line big line random lines are created now this is fine this is however gonna happen right mm, okay then we actually don't need uh, yellow because i think let's put yellow and let's remove this because however line that do not really have any stroke kind of thing right there's no border for it so that's why i'm just remo removing that thing and then on event this last one is circle so let's just get this button for click let's go to canvas and then get this set fill color yellow okay and set stroke color red then circle okay so circle will be having the random x and uh, y values automatically it should have the same thing right so random x and y so the x value will be 20 and y value will be 300 sorry not y value these both are x values only horizontally we have 320 right so that's why we're writing this x value will sorry not x value the range the first value and second value okay so and second value this is this complete thing is for x value this complete thing is for y value okay and this is for uh, like the radius actually right so let's not keep it 100 let's write it as 20 let's check how this works first if this needs anything i think this is good right you can also change the sizes of your uh, circle and rectangle randomly that is also fine like if this seems boring to you right so what you can just do you can just take a random number place it over here and like you can say from 10 pixels to 20 pixels it can change the circle size right and the same thing you can do for your uh, rectangle also okay rectangle also can have uh, random within height right so automatically you just use the random numbers so from where it can start off so from 10 with the 10 to uh 30 not bigger big, bigger than this because um you can see the screen itself is so small right if again you're giving a bigger value it feels like it is uh messing it all up right so let's give 10 to 30 uh maybe 10 to 40 should be fine because we previously gave 40 as the width right and height can be from um 10 to 30 this is fine no problem okay so but not more than these uh I feel like yes of course if you're feeling like uh, that should be bigger then you can do it yeah you can see now different uh, different different kind of rectangles are being created and this looks fun now right 
you also have a stroke line with red border right and this is line random lines wow good good nice and circles see uh, like differently sized circles right i think this is this is absolutely fine okay this is good this is good okay when you click on clear everything will be cleared off right so this is how it is we just want to create right and if you have any questions any concerns regarding this app you can absolutely contact me in the comment section below comment and tell me if you have any concerns right i hope you understood this uh, and uh, hopefully you do not have any questions regarding this okay so if you've not understood don't worry like about this random number and about the x and y values and all we've already discussed about these things in our previous sessions that's why i'm not discussing about x and y values again and again okay because you already know that if you have not been watching them yet please do go back open the app lab series and do watch the x and y values video right we have a completely dedicated video for it so that's why i'm not wasting much time over here because you didn't you don't really need a very lengthy video right you just need to know how to create the app that's what our motto is correct so if you have not watched my previous video please do go back and watch so that you have a better idea of what random numbers are and what x and y values are right Can, what is a canvas basically okay so all this you will understand only when you are watching all of the videos in a sequence that's why i say you just please watch all of them in a sequence so that you're not missing any element or any part right so when i do a next video on the same app lab right what happens is i'll be doing something which you already know from the previous videos if you don't know something then i'll explain it in the same in this video and then i'll continue doing it okay so if i'm not talking much about something then it's not that uh, i'm not really telling that right it's that you already know that okay so just please understand this and uh, so go about it accordingly okay any concerns please do comment and that's all for our today's session i hope you enjoyed this uh, rectangle line circle drawing on a canvas right so i'll be meeting you all guys in the next video till then you know what you have to do please like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub and yes do let me know if you have any concerns and uh, do submit your projects right so thank you so much for all your support and please supporting uh, please do support more and more more and more okay yeah uh, yes this is going to be our folks family now right all right family bye bye and have a great day thank you so much for watching